Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for another instant deck tech. So there's been a lot made about Standard lately, about how we got like three big decks, Green Black Delirium, White Blue Flash, Aetherworks Marvel, and maybe the best way to beat these decks is to just get in underneath them. So if people are playing Ishkana on turn five, Avacyn on turn five, Emrakul on turn four, five, or six, kill your opponent, or be in a position where your opponent's essentially dead, dead on board, before your opponent starts doing that stuff. So this is a deck that takes that to the extreme today's deck from shamazaki kita recently took a top eight finish in a japanese tournament so congrats to kita on their finish with the deck and this deck is prototypical red people have been bemoaning the fact that there's no super aggressive red deck in the format well here it is this is the deck super overloaded on the aggressive cards a quick reminder before we break it all down if you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos take a minute click the like button the subscribe button leave a comment anything you can do to support your deck because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So prototypical red, pretty straightforward, 16 one drops, 16 two drops, eight removal spells, and 20 lands. That is the deck, that's what it's doing, in and out, very redundant. So the deck has a couple of packages. So package one of the one drops is Bombat Courier, which is just a 1-1 one, one for one, but it has haste, and it can improve the quality of your hand. If you can get in some attacks with it, you can sack it, discard your hand, draw a bunch of cards that are exiled under Bombat Courier, and Inventor's Apprentice, which is a nice synergy here, because Bombat Courier pumps up your Inventor's Apprentice, making it a 2-3, just like Curd Ape. So these are half the one drops, and they synergize with half the two drops. We have Scrap Heap Scrounger and Smuggler's Copter. So these also pump up your Inventor's Apprentice, make it into a really legitimate threat as a 2-3 for one. Scrap Heap Scrounger, the deck is mono red, but it plays four foreboding ruins. So it does have some small chance of getting it back when it dies. And Smuggler's Copter, just one of the best cards in standard. A very devastating turn two play. And this deck's always gonna have one drops to turn it on, so so you're going to be able to loot with it, keep getting rid of extra lands, whatever you don't need. So that's kind of package one. You have two one drops, two two drops. The other package is this like pseudo madness package. So we get insolent neonate, another one one for one, but it has menace. So kind of like bomb at courier, it doesn't have that magical second power, but it gets in more damage than you think because of its abilities. Plus you can sack it to discard a card and draw a card. That works with Falconrath Gorger, which gives all of your vampires madness, and it is a 2-1 one for 1. So, this isn't really a madness deck by any means, but every once in a while, you're going to be able to discard a vampire and get some value off of Falconrath Gorger. But the big deal is, it's a 2-powered 1-drop that starts hitting for a bunch of damage. As far as the 2-drops of the madness package, and this is where it gets really sweet, we get Fury Blade Vampire and Lupin Prototype. So, like I said, this isn't a madness deck. You got a total of 12 vampires... You don't really have Madness cards, you have Falconrath Gorger, but you have some ways that maybe sometimes you'll Madness something, but the big deal here is these are just super overpowered two drops if you're trying to be aggressive. Fury Blade Vampire lets you discard a card at the beginning of your combat step, and if you do, it becomes a 4-2 with Trample, so that's a lot of damage. If you can play a 2-powered 1-drop into essentially a 4-powered Trampling 2-drop, that's a lot of damage coming across really early in the game, getting the opponent dead before they can play their Ishkanas and so forth. And then, the namesake card that makes it prototypical, Lupin Prototype, a 2-mana 5-5, five five, but someone has to be empty-handed for it to attack or block. Well, this deck has some discard outlets. It is literally all one drops and two drops. So you can get empty handed super quick and then you just have this huge 5-5 five, five beater that's taking big chunks out of your opponent's life total. As far as the removal package, pretty simple. Lightning Axe to kill big things, also to discard your Fiery Tempers, or you could discard a Vampire with Falcon Wrath Gorger on the battlefield. But Lightning Axe to discard Fiery Temper kills two things for essentially uh, two cards with a very cheap price. Two mana, kill two things, really powerful card, especially in an aggressive deck because you can back this up by aggressive 
aggressive attacking creatures, it helps you get empty handed for Lupin Prototype, plus you can send Fiery Temper to the face in turn, Lightning Axe and Fiery Temper combined into like a Searing Blood effect, kill a creature, throw some damage at your opponent's face for only 2 mana, keep swinging with all your stuff, get your opponent dead before they can play their big powerful mid game threats. As far as the mana base, we got the 4 Forboding Ruins and 16 Mountains. Forboding Ruins, only black card in the deck is Scrappy Scrounger, which is technically colorless, but it gives you a low opportunity cost way to maybe get a Scrap Heap Scrounger back from the graveyard if you happen to draw Forboding Ruins. As far as the sideboard, we get some more aggressive stuff. Built to Smash can pump on one of your attacking creatures. If you throw on an artifact, and the deck has a lot of artifacts, it gains Trample as well. Magmatic Chasm is awesome. This is the trump card against Ishkana, for example. Your opponent gets down a bunch of ground blockers. Magmatic Chasm makes it so creatures without flying can't block. You just cast that, swing with all your vampires and prototypes and bomb at couriers and close out the game. So if it takes you to turn 5 and your opponent gets down that Ishkana, you still got a way to get through your creature beats and finish off the game. And then, just a bunch more removal. Galvanic Bombardment, great in the early game, really cheap. Incendiary Flow uh, can kill something and also go to the face. Good against recurring threats, like Scrap Heap Scrounger, for example. And Tears of Valica is the trump card against, like, Avacyn, Spell Quellers. Gets rid of a creature with flying, can't be countered. Really powerful effect as well. And that that is prototypical red for standard, and that's been our instant deck tech for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon.